Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney. I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 10 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over the world. I'll give you a chance to ask questions a little later, but uh, the question for the week comes from Sarah J in Los Angeles, California. And Sarah asks, Dear Justin, do you have any secrets for hitting the high notes? And yes, Sarah, uh, I think I do, and I'm happy to give you those secrets, but today uh, I'm only going to give you one, and in future videos I'll give you tons more, but the first one that I want to give to you guys is a great secret and a great trick that you absolutely have to know if you want to be a great singer. The biggest key to hitting the high notes is not the high notes. It's the middle notes. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this, but if you want to hit high notes, you don't want to focus on your high notes. You want to focus on your middle notes. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So a lot of people don't have high notes because they're just trying to slam the high notes all the time. They say, I, I got to have high notes. They go up there and they strain and they work on straining. And they're actually just building up worse and worse habits on their high notes when all along, if they had worked on their middle notes, the high notes just start to appear. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is what do I mean by middle notes? This could be debatable, but I'm going to give you what I think of as middle notes, first for the guys and then for the ladies. So here we go with what are the middle notes that guys need to work on. Here they are over here. So guys, if this is middle C right here, your middle notes are going to be this A flat through this E flat. These notes here. And so for the ladies, it's just right above where the guys are. Come and check this out. So ladies, if middle C is right here, your middle notes are going to be this E flat through this B flat here. So again, guys, you're going to be A flat through E flat. And ladies, you're going to be above that E flat through B flat. Those are the problematic notes for most males and females. They neglect that area of their voices and then they lack the high notes as a result. So part two is what do we have to do about these middle notes? How do we make them appropriate for bridging the gap between uh, them and the high notes? So part A is that you first don't want to get louder. As I go through my middle, here's kind of what it sounds like if I haven't worked out my middle notes, if, if I'm a guy, and I am. If I have ma, 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 ma. You see through my middle there, I am getting louder. And then B, I'm lifting my larynx and feeling a sense of squeeze as I go higher. And then C, I'm not using any of my head resonance. So the three things that we're going to have to do in our middle voices, in those territories I showed you, is don't get louder as you go higher. Don't squeeze your larynx as you go higher. And don't lose your head resonance or your nasal resonance as you go higher. So let me show you a little bit of a difference of what I mean. If on this middle note I was going ma, instead I go ma, and I sort of throw it back up here, I leave my larynx calm, I don't get louder. Ma, ma, ma. I'm staying calm. I'm not getting louder and I'm sending some resonance up into here. If I do that, I'm going to be able to extend my range all the way. So that's part three then is, Justin, what is it going to do for me if I do what you say and I work out my middle notes? It's going to do a bunch of things. First of all, you're going to have a mix up top. If you raise your larynx and you push it out the mouth, you won't have a mix. You'll just be straight up belting all the time. You're going to have volume control. You're going to be able to hit high notes without going louder. You hear tons of people, they got high notes, but it's always loud, and it's always too pushed. 
Uh, then you're also going to be able to probably find vibrato up top. And you're also going to be able to hit these notes without straining. And then finally, you're probably not going to have a limit to your high notes. The better your mix is, the better those middle notes are, uh, the more you're going to be able to extend your range and the mix will just continue on up. So that's my first tip for you, Sarah, and everybody about how to hit high notes. You got to work on your middle notes first. Don't raise your larynx. Don't get louder to go higher. And try to work to feel a sense of the air moving up and back and into here and not out as you go higher. You're going to find a better, easier bridge right in between. And then you're going to be able to extend your range with volume control and that mix ability. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys as singers. If you have questions, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And we'll take your questions and we'll try to answer them on future episodes of the show. But in the meantime, uh, we just encourage you not to lose the joy and the passion. Don't let people tell you you can't sing because you know that's not true. Give with a great voice teacher in your area. If you guys are in New York City, you can check us out at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And if you like these videos, you can visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.